Welcome to the design studio at Classica Homes. Since you can't come to us, we're gonna to come to you. I'm gonna try and give you a video tour, personalized, so you don't have to leave your home. You can stay comfortable even in your pajamas if you want to, and show you around and give you all the options that you can make selections in throughout your home once you purchase with us. Let's start with the exterior. Generally, we start there because that's kind of where you enter your home. If you have a brick home, you'll have several selections to make. You can see that we have an assortment of different colors, styles, and tumbled or straight edge bricks. Let me point out here, the purple star shown on all the bricks. This means this is starting point. It's included in the price of your home, so there would be no cost associated with it. In this case, it has a purple star plus a green sticker, which means still starting point brick, but there is a little cost associated with it. In this case, it has beige mortar. Our starting point mortar is gray. Again, other options, there's some group twos and some group threes. If you happen to have stone on your home, we have real stone. Some of it even comes here in North Carolina. This is not going to be the fabricated stone, so no will two be alike. No two will be alike. So we have several option ones, starting point, and then we have a few option twos, and then option threes. Also, there's the joint. You have several options to choose from. We have what we call a tight fit, dry stack. You'll still see a little mortar, but not as much. You have a rake joint. Here's an overgrout, and then a trowel joint. All these are options at no additional cost. Also with the exterior, you will need to be picking a roof. All these are starting point. We have different selections from grays to blacks, some browns and different shades of those. Also with your exterior, you're gonna have front door options and interior door hardware. We use Schleg, been around for years and years, I'm sure you've heard of them. Starting point for your front door is gonna be the Westfield or the Addison in chrome. You do have these other options and you can get all of them in the available finishes you see. Satin nickel, bronze, polished nickel, or black for some additional cost. For the interior knobs, you've got different selections as well. Here we have the Andover of the Bowery and we have the Andover. The back plate that comes with those is gonna be a flat one. And these come in chrome to start with. You can also do the different finishes again. We've got bronze, black, polished nickel, and satin nickel. There's some other different um, knob styles. Sienna, which is the egg shape. And if your preference is a lever, you can also do that. With that, you also have different back plate options if you don't want to go with the starting point. So you can see here the different options available. Once you choose those, we will have our front door options, which come with glass. Clear glass, which is on the bottom, is what comes with the home. You can option to go to a CD glass. There is a Flemish. We have a Winter Lake and then a German Antique. If you'd like to have a little distortion with your front door. Front doors come painted, but if you prefer the paint, uh, stain, we do have stained door options available. Also with the exterior, you've got your um, ceiling on your porches. An option is to stain it with this V-groove material. It would look 
looks something like this on the porch. If you prefer to paint, you can do that as well. Other options for the exterior that we'll need to make are gonna be your gutter choices. As you can see, we have several options. You have a soffit. These are all vinyl materials, so no maintenance. You can see a variety of colors there. You'll have your garage doors. Many options there. And if your elevation allows it, which most of them do, there is a metal roof option. And it's plan specific. Your sales manager can help you with that, or once you come to design, we can help you with that. We use Sherwin-Williams paints. So you see we have the full deck available that we can make choices from. Your exterior, you will have your siding color and your trim color, front door. If you want to do your ceiling in a different color, we can do that as well. Other options, exterior, which kind of include the garage. You do have an option if you want to do the garage surface flooring. It's an Arctic coating. They put it in right before you move in. We have a solid and a fleck. And we can always give you pricing when you're in design. Hardware on your garage door. It's metal, starting from right to left. The Blue Ridge comes with it, but you can option to the Versailles or the Canterbury. And then window choices. What comes with the home? You're gonna have white or clay. The clay will have um, the color on the interior as well as the exterior. We do have options for black windows or a bronze color. Again, the starting point is your clay and white, so these would have uh, some upcharge to them. Other items for the exterior, your rear porch may come with concrete pavers. So we have a few color options there. Or you can option to flagstone. There are some color options here. And then you also can do brick pavers. These would be set in mortar. And we would do them in a running bond pattern. The brick and the flagstone can also be done on the front porch. It comes with concrete, but if you would like to have um, brick or flagstone, we can do that. Another option for the rear porch is gonna be travertine. Let me show you the colors that you have option for there. That's gonna be your exterior. Now we're gonna to move to the interior of the house. If you have stairs in your home, unless you picked one of our lovely ranch styles, the Santa Fe first floor or the Santa Rosa, you wouldn't have stairs. Starting point is gonna be our traditional. You can option to the arts and crafts. We then have the modern style, which is an overpost. You can also add some wrought iron railing for your balusters, and you can choose either the traditional or the overpost newel. Then there's the Milan wrought iron, and then an industrial where it's all wrought iron. If you notice the stain colors on all the rails, we would make that selection once we choose your hardwoods so that it will match as close as we can. Your treads will be oak and your hardwoods um, are a engineer flooring, so it wouldn't be perfect, but we get pretty close. Also on your stairs, you have the option um, to do open treads is shown in this photo. You see where your balusters go all the way into the tread. Starting point is going to be like this. And then speaking of hardwoods, let's just take a look 
at what we offer. We have about 12 drawers full of hardwoods. Your starting point is going to be a three inch smooth. We have six color options there. We use all Mohawk flooring made here in the USA. The three inch is also a smooth finish. Then we can go to a six and a half inch. This is a very popular choice, Crestview Hickory. It has a lot of what we call hand sculpting. A little rigid edge, so it won't show um, scratches and marring as much. It's very forgiving. It's a good option if you have children or pets. Just working my way down in different drawers. Another distressed look. Our Amarilla Hickory, it is a five inch. And then if you want to go a little more modern or sleek, we do have some five inches available there. And then some more smooth finishes. Many of these can be seen in our models. If you would go on the classical website, you can venture and see what options are there. We try to really work hard. Our um, VP of Design, Terry, really works hard to do different flooring in different homes. And here's another one that's a little large. It's a seven inch. Continuing on to flooring, the hardwoods come in a good bit of the first floor, except for your master suite, bathrooms of course, and then your study. It will be in your main living spaces. The other areas will have carpet. You can option to do hardwoods in there, those rooms if you would like. But our starting point carpet, again, is Mohawk. We have Top Card, and we have Cooper Creek. But as you can see, we also have a huge assortment of other styles and colors. So I think we can completely find something that will work for you in your home. Other flooring options are gonna be in your bathrooms, which are gonna be your tile. Up here on the top is our starting point. It's a 12 inch square. You can have 12 by 24 styles. There are some smaller two by fours. Just kind of walk through and show you what we have available. These are a lot of shower floor, floor options. The main thing to remember about tile is not every tile can go in every place. And so you're gonna have some that are just for the floor, some for just backslash, some for just shower floor. There are some options that are polished, some are matte. So we would work with you to determine what's best for your home and your environment. And then you've got a lot of choices for backsplashes. We have real marble and travertine and limestone. So you get the beauty of that natural element to bring the outdoors into your home. And it, no two will be the same. That's the beauty of a natural stone. That's why you pick it because it's not gonna match anyone else's. We have even larger tiles, as you can see here. We have some real marble and stone that can go on the floor. And then some more backsplashes. And of course, your three, -way, three by six subway tile. They've come a long way though. They have new ones now that are the subway style in all different sizes. Tiles can be placed linear, um, so you're horizontal, you can go vertical, you can do a running bond, 30% offset. There are options um, to do a herringbone style. The world is your oyster. And then a popular item that's come out in the last couple of years, it's more of a concrete look. So you get a pattern on the floor. These have been very popular with our clients and they make just a beautiful addition to your bathroom or laundry room if you prefer. And then last but not least on our tile, we have hardwood looking options. So 
and you've got big pieces and some a little smaller, skinnier, some a little more rustic than the others. Let's talk about our bathrooms for a minute. Had a room on the first floor and you may have one on the second floor if you did that um, structural option. What's going to come with your home is going to be a pedestal sink and toilet. It's our Gerber edition. Um, Maxwell is the style. You can also option to some other styles. You have the Allerton, we have the Burr Ridge, and we also have the Logan Square. If you don't want the pedestal sink, then we can certainly do a furniture piece. We use Fairmont Vanities, and here's just a few options here. This is your 24 inch style, and we do do them in 30 inches as well, and then different colors. You can also do the furniture piece and then do a, a um, toilet that is upgraded as well. Let's move into the kitchen, which is the hub of the home. We're going to start off with our cabinetry. We use Ultra Craft, made right here in North Carolina. You have four door styles you can choose from. These are all starting points, so you see the little purple star. We have our Charlotte. We have the Avon. We have the Shaker. And then if you want that real sleek, smooth finish, we have the Apex. The door itself comes smooth, flat, as you see here. And then also starting point is going to be a stain. So this door in this stain is starting point. You can option to have the profile of the drawer match your door. So once again, you have four styles to choose from. You can have smooth drawers, or you can have what we call a five-piece drawer head, which will match the profile of your door. Stain comes with it, but then we have options for paint. So you can see we have a variety of white paints. We have some more taupey shades and we have grays. There's a blue ash that's been very popular, and then some deeper grays. The other option is to do what we call a linen finish, and that's where after they paint your cabinets at the end of the run, they actually take a brush and hand paint a striate effect on the door. No two will be alike, so sometimes it'll be a lot heavier and then sometimes a little lighter. We do also have a glazing option. If you don't find a door style you prefer here, we do have some other options. Some with a recessed panel, some with a raised, some with a wider um, door option as far as the panels, some with a little more detail. Again, smooth drawer, or you can do the five-piece matching drawer head. And we have some three groupings. So again, you've got a stickly wide. You've got one that's called the Hampton, a little more cottagey look. And again, they can all be painted. You see here, this is a vintage paint where they actually paint it and then hand rub it and distress it which is an option, but you have to use a group three door style. With your cabinets, there are options. You're gonna have an island and you're gonna have the perimeter. So we'll say this is our perimeter and then we have our island. As you can see here, we treated the perimeter separate from the island, so you can do two different colors if you'd prefer. And then do the same countertop. Or you can do different countertops too. Some options with your cabinetry. We have stacks you can add, so where the door would be, you can convert it to be drawers, 
This is called a three drawer stack. And we have a four drawer stack. You're deep, they're very deep so your pots and pans will fit. And we also have the pull outs. So if you like the look of the door on the outside but still wanna to get to all that stuff in the back, you've got that. And as you can see there, we have slow close doors and drawers. No more slamming. So that's a great option that you don't have to worry about because it's already in your starting point. We have glass cabinets. With that, you can add lighting. We finish the interior and then add the glass shelving so the light shines all the way down. Another option is a pantry kit. Most kitchens do come with a pantry. But if yours does not, or if you have the extra cabinet space, we have a pantry kit here. And you would be amazed at how much this can hold. Trash options. We do have a basket style. Most people put this on their island. This can fit in an 18 or 24 inch drawer, but it does take away the slow close effect. We do have another option. It's our hanging style. This has a cover on it so that when it slides in, it hides all the odors. It's been a great option for us. And it keeps the slow clothes available. Again, we talked about the um, drawers. You can see here where we left all the drawers smooth. But on this side, we did the, the five piece drawer head. Other options, inserts. You've got these fine line cutlery trays that are made to fit exactly for your drawer. And then we have a two tiered option. So it's a quick source for all your silverware. So it kind of doubles it. Again, we just need to look at your kitchen layout to see what would fit. Um, also with the glass cabinets, if you decide um, you want to take your cabinets to the ceiling, you, will, you always have a soffit as you see here, but there are options to continue the cabinet up. That soffit's removed and then you um, would have a shorter cabinet on top. Your 42 inch cabinets become 30 inch to allow for that top cabinet. And you can put glass in those or leave it without and then add lights as well. For the island, there are different options, which we would go over in design or your um, sales manager, once they do your specification walk, can help you with it. But you can add functional cabinets as you see here. It's like a 12 inch cabinet on the other side. You can leave it as starting point, which is gonna be sheetrock. And then you've got some applied treatments you can do as well. Once we choose our cabinet, we'll look at countertops. Starting point is going to be your granite. So you see all our options here. All on the bottom row here. We have group two options. We have group three. And then some group fours. Another material is quartzite still a natural product. And then if you prefer the man-made style, which a lot of people are doing now, <clears throat> we have a material called Zill. <coughs> we have a material called Zill, if you want a man-made product. No maintenance here. It's beautiful, it's white with some gray veining. Or there's another company called Caesar Stone. Again, all man-made. And there are different levels in this material as well. This has been very popular right now, and I'm sure you see it all the time on your design shows. Uh, again, no maintenance. It's very consistent. What you see is what you get. Um, easy to clean. You don't have to care for it by sealing it or anything like that. 
let's continue on with the kitchen. Options that we offer, you want a hot water dispenser for instant hot water. We have what you call an air button. All our islands hold sinks. So in order to turn on the garbage disposal, you would have to have the switch underneath the cabinet because you don't have a backsplash. We have the option that you can do what this air button will do. So uh, instead of opening your cabinet below, you can just push the button to turn on your garbage disposal. We have soap and lotion dispensers. And then we're gonna walk over and look at all the faucets. Here's one option. And we're gonna look at sinks. This is our stainless steel farmhouse sink. There is a cabinet modification with this. So there is a little cost associated with it. Let's walk out here and I will show you the starting point sinks and what other options we have. So your double basin stainless is gonna be your starting point. One option is a single basin stainless. Another new option we have is a bigger stainless. It's a square, rectangle. Comes with the grid you see. We have a porcelain farmhouse sink. That comes in white or bisque. Again, a cabinet modification. And then another popular selection is a quart sink. Again, no maintenance. It's um, made to be stain free, all kinds of um, great things with this. And you can choose colors, which is such a fun thing to do in your kitchen. If you are tired of that typical white sink, you can match your countertop or go darker. There's the classic version and then there's a luxe version. And then um, this can also come in a double quart sink, if that's what you would prefer. Sinks for a um, scullery. We have a wet bar. Starting point is going to be your stainless. You can option again to the quartz sink if you would prefer that too. There's a smaller one and this larger version. Let's talk about faucets. We use all Delta product. Fabulous company, been around for years. Um, most all the um, fixtures have the magnet dock, which will slide it right back into um, the product. They have a lifetime warranty, so they try to fix it first, but if not, they'll replace it. So we have had very good success with Delta. Your starting point is going to be this Linden pullout in chrome. Comes in a couple of other color options. Another pullout is going to be the Cassidy. And then as you can see, we can work our way down. Some other pull down options. If you want a side sprayer, we do have that. And then there's their more commercial looking ones. This line right here is still by Delta. It's their Brizo line. So a lot goes into these as far as the artistry. They're European inspired. They actually send all their designers over to Europe, usually once or twice a year, to get inspired to create these. We call them the Tiffany of Delta, hence the, the blue um, holder that contains them. And you can't find these anywhere but through a distributor, so you can't get them from any of your big box stores. And they also have some soap and lotion dispensers. And then again on the bar sinks, You've got a few styles here. One more a little smaller version of what you found in the kitchen. <clears throat> we have a material called Zeal if you want a man-made product. No maintenance here. It's beautiful, it's white with some gray veining. Or there's another company called Caesar Stone. Again, all man-made. And there are different levels in this material as well. This has been very popular right now and I'm sure you see it all the time on your design shows. Uh, again, no maintenance. 
It's very consistent. What you see is what you get. Um, easy to clean. You don't have to care for it by sealing it or anything like that. Let's continue on with the kitchen. Options that we offer. You want a hot water dispenser for instant hot water. We have what you call an air button. All our islands hold sinks. So in order to turn on the garbage disposal, you would have to have the switch underneath the cabinet because you don't have a backsplash. We have the option that you can do what this air button will do. So uh, instead of opening your cabinet below, you can just push the button to turn on your garbage disposal. We have soap and lotion dispensers. And then we're going to walk over and look at all the faucets. Here's one option. And we're going to look at sinks. This is our stainless steel farmhouse sink. There is a cabinet modification with this, so there is a little cost associated with it. Let's walk out here and I will show you the starting point sinks and what other options we have. So your double basin stainless is going to be your starting point. One option is a single basin stainless. Another new option we have is a bigger stainless. It's a square, rectangle. Comes with the grid you see. We have a porcelain farmhouse sink. That comes in white or bisque. Again, a cabinet modification. And then another popular selection is a quart sink. Again, no maintenance. It's um, made to be stain free, all kinds of um, great things with this. And you can choose colors, which is such a fun thing to do in your kitchen. If you are tired of that typical white sink, you can match your countertop or go darker. There's the classic version and then there's a luxe version. And then um, this can also come in a double quart sink, if that's what you would prefer. Sinks for a um, scullery. We have a wet bar. Starting point is going to be your stainless. You can option again to the quartz sink if you would prefer that too. There's a smaller one and this larger version. Let's talk about faucets. We use all Delta product. Fabulous company, been around for years. Um, most all the um, fixtures have the magnet dock, which will slide it right back into um, the product. They have a lifetime warranty, so they try to fix it first, but if not, they'll replace it. So we have had very good success with Delta. Your starting point is going to be this linden pullout in chrome. Comes in a couple of other color options. Another pullout is going to be the Cassidy. And then as you can see, we can work our way down. Some other pull down options. If you want a side sprayer, we do have that. And then there's their more commercial looking ones. This one right here is still by Delta. It's their Brizo line. So a lot goes into these as far as the artistry. They're European inspired. They actually send all their designers over to Europe usually once or twice a year to get inspired to create these. We call them the Tiffany of Delta, hence the, the blue um, holder that contains them. And you can't find these anywhere but through a distributor, so you can't get them from any of your big box stores. And they also have some soap and lotion dispensers. And then again on the bar sinks, you've got a few styles here. One more a little smaller version of what you found in the kitchen. <clears throat> I'm going to work my way now into the bathroom cabinetry. So we have our starting point cabinet doors here. These are a little different than our kitchen ones. 
as you see them is the only way you can get them. So for instance, I cannot remove this drawer head on here. It will look just like this. This style comes in like a white, a bisque, and then a couple of other finishes that have a little strie effect, and then a gray one as well. There are also some smooth versions of it. Some of these are thermofoil brand and some are melamine. Again, they're all ultra crafts that are made here in North Carolina. You want a little more traditional fill. We do have some that have the traditional molding and trim. Also in a beige. And then we have some group three options. Great color. And then all these color choices up here. All of these have the smooth door and um, door profile. But you can see we have a variety of colors. Again, these are as you see them. I cannot change them. If you don't find a color you love, we can go to the kitchen cabinetry and then find uh, a paint you might would rather have. Starting point, countertop for your bath is gonna be this material, what we call Piedrafina. It's a manufactured product. It's got a combination of crushed marble and a composite. It's gonna be a little thinner. Instead of being three centimeters, it's two centimeters. But people love it. There are a couple of group two options. And then we have a new material. It's called, it's through OHM, who supplies all our countertops. Um, they have a primary color. It's a little thicker and it's a quartz material. So they have gray, white, and then they have one that has a career look. They also have them in a velvet finish, so it's polished or velvet. And it's a little whiter, whereas this one in white's a little creamier. This one's going to be a little brighter. You can also option to go to what we showed you in the kitchen and do granite or the Caesar stone or the Zeal product. Sink options for your bathroom. Starting point is going to be your oval. And then you can option for the rectangle sink. Hard to see that with the white background, but it's a rectangle. Continuing on with the bathroom, let's talk about the faucets. Again, we're using our Delta product. Starting point for your owner's bath and powder room, it's going to be the Ashland style in chrome or the Linden in chrome. Again, you've got a couple of um, finished colors. You can do satin or bronze, as you see here, but there is some cost associated with that. In the secondary bathroom, it's going to be a four inch um, spread whereas in the owner's bath, it's an eight widespread. And then same thing for the London. You do have option to go to a single handle. And then of course we have other styles you can choose from. And all these come in different finishes, so it's just um, specific to the style, which we would have to discuss when you get into design. With each suite comes coordinating tubs for your faucets, and then also your shower heads. And then you get a tissue holder for your toilet paper with every vanity and um, toilet. You can option to add a hand towel ring, your towel bars, or hooks. Again, you'd want to do the corresponding um, or coordinating finish. I'll walk down here and show you a few more styles. Cassidy is a very popular one. You have the option to do the cross handle as you see here, or we do have the lever style handle. Again, coordinating shower heads. and then the Tesla. If you are interested in adding a rain shower head, we have some different options there. 
we would add another valve or control so that you can operate them independently. If you want to have a handout shower, we have those options that you can take off the um, head that comes with it and then exchange it for this handheld shower. Or we can do a slide bar. So we have some different options there. And then again, Delta has the Brizo line. If you want to do something a little different, again, that you can't purchase anywhere but through a um, distributor. Let's talk about the great room and where your fireplace would be. If you so choose that, a lot of homes come with it, but some of them have the option not to have it. Um, starting point mantle is going to be this Westcott. We have a few others. You want to keep that traditional look. We do have some floating mantles. And then another option here, the Ozark. Your fireplace will have a surround. Starting point is going to be your slate, and then you have some granite options in marble too. This will be your starting point fireplace. You can option to one that's a little more modern, and then we would tile the surround. You can also, on the fireplace, if you choose the starting point, we can brick it. There's some options here. Or you can do like we here, did here in the studio and we painted the brick. And then we did a floating mantle. You can also do the starting point or any of the traditional mantles and then do tile around them if you prefer that. Let's talk some trim detail. You'll have baseboard throughout the home. Your starting point is going to be your five and a quarter baseboard. You can option to a seven and a quarter per floor. We can't choose rooms, but so it's got to be by floor. If you want to get more arts and crafts, you do have your one by six option or a one by eight. Again, it's by floor. Trim style for all your door casings is going to be this starting point 445. But you can do an arts and crafts style, like you see here. And then door styles, starting point is going to be our two panel. It's a raised panel. Option is going to be your Riverside, which is multi-paneled. And then I have the Logan door style. This is a recess panel. It's been very popular. So it's still two panel, but it's recessed rather than being raised. And then crown molding will be throughout your home um, in certain areas. It'll be in your kitchen, your great room, your dining room, and the master tray. It is plan specific, so if you choose one of our options that has the vaulted ceiling, it would not be in that room. You can add crown in most any room you'd like to as well. Other options for trim are gonna be some wall treatments that are formal arts and crafts applied. This one has the little extra detail on the inset. Same style, but without that inset. Arts and crafts. You can also do this um, 36 inch high. This is more of a 66 or two thirds. We do have a shiplap option. So you can put that um, on a wall. You can also do that around the fireplace. I did not mention that, but if you want that look. And you'll see that in a few of our models. We do have a horizontal batten. This is a great way to dress up a room or a hallway, foyer, 
It's just a one by four that's been applied, applied to the wall. And then you can paint it the trim color or you can paint it uh, the wall color. And then there's a vertical version of this. And we also have one that's a square detail. We do have a V groove option here that you can add in an entryway, such as a launch. You have the option to add hardware, so if you want to do some hooks, we have a couple of choices there. Sealant treatments, we have coffered sealants. And then again, the V groove that I showed you that we could do on the front porch is another option in a room if you wanted to do that, like you see here. another quick view of our studio we'd love to have you come visit us we generally spend three or four appointments with clients three or four hours at a time it's an investment and we want you to enjoy it and have time with us so that we can personalize your home here's our living wall and what we'll do is add all your selections up there and get a photo for you so you can have that to keep for your records as you go through the construction. Again, visit our website, view the, the, view the models, view the Matterport, the floor plans to get more ideas. Um, here's a little information on some of our vendors that we use and have used for years. We have a very good relationship with all our vendors we meet with them one or two times a year to stay on trend for the product. And we would just love to have you be part of the Classica family. There's another design in Lisa. So feel free to call either one of us. I have our cards listed here and let us help you. I hope you enjoyed the tour and will come visit us very soon.